Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends Shay. Hello. Ben. Hello. Blake. Hello. And we're going to play some nice, friendly, friendly, totally friendly commander this week for all of you. We are sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. The promo code WORST will get you a discount on your order and show your love for the show. So please go to CoolStuffInc.com and use the promo code WORST today. There's some cool Brothers War kind of cards coming out that you might want to pre-order, might want to check out. Can't wait to do that episode. Personally, that'll be a good one. But for today's episode, I am playing a patron, uh, Covert Go Whale tier. What would we call him? Commission? Kind of like, a, yeah. a t like they have given me this task, this quest to take this commander <laughs> and play this deck because they signed up for that tier. Uh, so today, John Vanek, I am playing Rafik of the Many for you. And the worst possible thing, and that's how we do our rule zero, is we say the worst possible thing. The worst possible thing I can do to all of you is probably my bad jokes, intros, and general punchability. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I think the best deck, uh, the best card in my deck, I think, is Finest Hour. Mm. Finest Hour is a really cool enchantment card. It's kind of an exalted slash enchantress theme deck. So I have enchantress cards like Sithis of the Harvest Hand. I also try to make giant creatures with cards like Mana Gorger Hydra that get plus one, plus one counters when you guys play spells. So that Rafik giving these things double strike just hits really hard. But with Finest Hour, I can kill Blake and then also kill Ben or Shay in the same <laughs> combat because I get to have another combat hey. with Finest Hour. Hey. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty honest kind of deck combat. Um, I snuck in a lot of card draw through the Enchantress mechanics, but for the most part, I think I'm playing a pretty honest deck this week. So. Shay, yes. master of the honest decks, tangle <laughs> wires, uh. opposition agents, what else uh. you got for us? Uh, yeah, today I am playing also a patron requested deck, Vorinclex Monstrous Raider. Uh, and this is requested by patron Damien Tessier. So thank you very much for the uh, recommendation. Um, also, I gotta say, I feel kind of seen, you know, with this request because it's stompy and there's a doubling season. So this is just exactly right up my alley. Yeah, and you're a Phyrexian. Yes. Yeah, you're actually no, a, a Phyrexian a sleeper. Totally, a Phyrexian sleeper. Totally, totally a Phyrexian. Wow. <laughs> um, Go on. Yes, yes. So with Vorinclex, um, you know, trample, haste, the good stuff, putting uh, one or more counters. If I were to put one or more counters on a permanent or player, I put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. And for all of you, if an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half that many of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead, rounded down. Mm -hmm. uh, so for my worst possible, I already mentioned it. I've got a doubling season here. And also, for my worst possible, I have all of my friends. Look at all those walkers. Those are all planeswalkers? Those are all planeswalkers, yes. In mono green. In mono green, yes. <laughs> I didn't know there's that many. <laughs> um, so yeah, this deck is all about the planeswalkers. <sighs> I am trying to get them out there, hopefully doing a super cool ultimate. Um, all in one go, and um, yeah, with the hopes of, of killing you all, so. Oh boy. Cool. The, the fanfic, uh, the MTG fanfic gals will call it Fifty Shades of Nyssa. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, that's that sounds about right. All right, I look forward to all of that. The last time I played Super Friends on this channel, I. I don't think a, a single turn went by where my permanents weren't attacked. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. No. <laughs> ben, what have you brought for us and what is the worst possible thing it can do to us? So I also brought a patron requested deck, uh, Reserve of the Claw by uh, Luke Bloom requested it. And I do like his recommendation because this is a really cheap, uh, it's not a dragon, but it taps for any two co color combination of colors to cast dragon creatures. So, and then I can play one dragon a turn from my graveyard with his ability. And if I do that, it gets exiled when it uh, when it dies. 
<laughs> so, so yeah, you can't bring it back over and over. Right, exactly. One shot At least not the same one. And he's got menace. He's a 3-3. Three, three. But he's cheap, so I can play him early and get a, some quick dragons out, hopefully early. So, And then I also am also playing a requested card. It's called Head Games. Target opponent puts the cards from his or her hand on top of their library. Search that player's library for that many cards, and they put them in their hand, and then they sh shuffle their library. Did so you I requested guess, that? Um, Death's Door 1305. Thanks, Death's Door 1305. <laughs> I know who he wants to get that head games targeted. I, I'm, I'm guessing. Probably CGB, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got some counter spells, or probably not counter spells, but a bunch of good value in your hand, and I'll just give you, like, lands or something. <laughs> Great. And then Great. my worst possible for this deck, even though I casted this card last week, and it completely failed because it got countered. Weird, didn't resolve, weird. Yeah, that's strange, huh? Uh, it's Rise of the Dark Realms. So once I have a lot of dragons in my yard and I can't get them out each turn or not as quickly as I want to, just cast that, they're all there now. Beautiful, beautiful. Seems good to me. Yeah. All right, Blake, what the hell is that? That card's banned. So banned, I'm, 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 I'm playing Golos Tireless Pil Pilgrim, and it was requested by my good friend, a patron, Gabriel Hooker. Thanks so much for allowing me to play this banned card, but in respect for my friends, I'm not playing it all gross and whatnot. I'm playing a Gates deck. I'm trying to make my own little gated community. I just want it to be nice and safe. And while I do have Omnath Locus of Rage, which I'm hoping to kill Shay with, um, <laughs> I actually, the truest win con of this deck, it's just gotta be Maze's End. The HOA building of my gated community, I want Maze's End to be my win con, and that is what I'm going to be going for to defeat my friends. So, if you want to sign up for the Covert Go Whale tier, you can request all kinds of commanders and cards for our decks, uh, including banned ones. And of course, rule zero, we're playing friendly commander here, guys. It's totally fine friendly. to do, you know, yeah, it's just good, friendly, honest commander. So if we want to play with banned commanders, we're going to do it. That's the way it is. Okay. So... That does bring us to the part where I would be like, let's get into the video. The intro time is running, but we have a special operation because in case you haven't noticed, we have a Patreon. Maybe we mentioned it a few times in this intro. <laughs> yeah. We're actually all pay playing patron uh, Covert Go Whale tier commanders. Mm -hmm. And we also have a perk called Shay's Salutations. Take it away, Shay. Yes. So today I have two patrons to shout out. I've got Matthias Bruinsma and Justin. Thank you, patrons. You guys are very cool. Thank you, patrons. All right, let's shuffle up, see who goes first, and let the nonsense begin. All right, turns out that I've just got it today. I won the dice roll and we'll draw for turn. Then we're going to play Tundra. <laughs> I'm not letting it go. That's Never, it's too good. Esper Sentinel. Oh wow. boy. Your turn, oh, Shay. Okay. Pretty good start, I'd say. Draw for turn. I'm gonna be wholesome and play a forest and pass. Okay, very wholesome. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play an ancient tomb. I'm gonna tap that ancient tomb, taking two life. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it work? <laughs> this is super awkward. Um, this is a this is a good opportunity. We've had a lot of comments asking about the app that we're using. What's the name of it? The app we use is called Mox Topper, and it is really nice and very fun. <laughs> and very here. And very yeah, here. And it was here the here. whole time, guys. My go. phone was always there. With that two mana, I'll play an Arcane Signet. And then I'll pass. I will draw for Esper Sentinel. You sure will. All right, draw for turn. Zeotaurus Proving Ground. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I'll play Horizon Canopy, which is a green-white pain land. And I'm going to take one to play Sithis, Harvest Hand, 
Whenever I cast an enchantment spell, I gain a life and draw a card. It's a one-two. And I'm going to, because I never got to pair back proper, I'm going to attack Shay for one for an opposition agent in the past. Oh. <laughs> that feels good. Yep, I'll take one damage. <laughs> then I'm done. Okay. Draw for turn. Ooh. I'll tap one for a soul ring. Esper Sentinel Trigger. Not going to pay it. Awesome. Three for Mana Gorger Hydra. Ooh. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, then I will pass the turn. Draw. Hey, I got that land, guys. It's not colored, though. Reliquary Tap. <laughs> <laughs> I will tap two, the Ancient Tomb. Take two more and play a Rakdos Signet. Would you like to pay for the Esper? Yeah. Okay. I also get a counter. Uh, a oh. momentous day. <laughs> I'll tap two for a Lightning Green. And okay. I won't pay. Well, unfortunately, it only triggers once. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me go, Blake. I'm so proud. <laughs> Your turn. All right. I'm going to untap. I'm going to play a Gond Gate. Gate you control, enter the battlefield untapped. That's that, that's more cheating than playing Golos. <laughs> I'm a cheater. That's what can I say? That's, I, that's, how, that, that's not how gates are supposed to work. <laughs> I get one not paying my taxes, right? Yeah, everyone everybody else, else got had one. one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I feel so dirty. All right, I am going to tap my Gond Gate, and I am going to pay play an Amulet of Vigor. I'm not going to pay for Esper Sentinel. I don't at me, okay? It happens. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. Why did you do that with everyone else? <laughs> oh. Uh, Amulet of Vigor allows me uh, permanents that enter tapped on my side of the battlefield and come into play untapped. All right, I'm gonna cast Exploration. Mana Gorger Hydra, up to four counters. Sounds good to me. And then I'm going to play a Raugrin Triome, which due to Amulet of Vigor is gonna untap once it enters the battlefield. And I'm gonna pass two CGB. Dura. I'm gonna play a Sea of Clouds. I'm gonna take one, because I'm tapping my Horizon Canopy for mana. And I'm going to cast Mana Gorger Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> Because why wouldn't we? I'm twinning. Oh, having all kinds of fun here. Now, I can't beat up Shay anymore. She has a 6-6. Six, six. I sure do. Uh, and you guys are paying your taxes really well, so I'm not going to attack you guys. I'm just going to chill. Shay, go ahead. Okay. Wow. And by paying your taxes, I mean not paying your yes, taxes. Yes, <laughs> I'll untap and draw. I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to send my Mana Gorger Hydra to CDB. Yeah, makes six, sense. Six, six. All right, uh, down to 32. Mm-hmm. Cool. Gonna pay four for a Sky Shroud Claim. Search your library for up to two forest cards, put them onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. How about that Esper Sentinel, though? Yes, I shall pay. All right, I also get a Hydra Trigger. Me too. All right, I've got my two forests, and then I'm gonna pass the turn to Ben. Okay, I'll untap. Draw. Guys. Yes? I got a mountain. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. Congrats to me. And you think I might play my commander, which I do want to, but I have a sicker play. I'm going to tap that for black, this to tap this, which is three, and I'll take two from the Ancient Doom again. And I'm going to play Scytherix, the Blight Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is a dragon with infect, if I remember yes, correctly. Yes, and I will go to equip the lightning green. Mm. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pretty bad. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> hey, that's a big creature. <laughs> <laughs> it's an 8-8 eight eight already? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Four at you. Infect. Yeah, I've got no blocks. In the form of... Okay, then count. no. Oh, okay, no damage. Well, there you go, bright side. Mm. How much will kill me, 10? 10. 10, yeah. And you That's can't heal it very easily. bad. Yes. <laughs> no pass. All right, we're gonna do some untapping. Draw for turn. All right, we are going to go ahead and go one, two for a Sylvan Library. Library? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's one of my triggers. Uh. <laughs> Why did I think it would be? 
It's my favorite fruit. At least it's not Sylvan Lie Blairy. Right? <laughs> I'm really deciding about this because it's yeah. kind of important. Yeah. Um, I'm just less scared of you than Shay. So, yep, that's fine. You can draw a card. Okay. And then I'm going to play a Vesuva. It's going to enter as a Raugrin Triome. And Amulet of Vigor is going to untap it. That's the land that can be a copy of any land? And it is a copy of my land that taps for... You didn't want Ancient Tomb? I sure didn't. Mm, interesting. And then I'm going to pass the turn. All right, I'm going to cast a, an enchantment called Sword Coast Sailor. This is a legendary enchantment background that says commander creatures you own have whenever this attacks a player. If no opponent has more life than that player, the creature can't be blocked this turn. Whoa! So that's going to trigger the Mana Gorger Hydras and also sit this the Harvest Hand. I'm going to gain one life and draw. This does not work yet until I have my commander. It gives the ability to my commander. I'm going to pay one life with Horizon Canopy. I'm going to cast an Avacyn's Pilgrim. It's going to be tapped for white mana. It's a human monk. Trigger the Mana Gorger Hydras. I'm going to play an Island as my land for turn. And because you have that Sylvan Library, life is now a resource you can convert into cards, Blake. So we got to take a chunk out of that life total. No. It's got two blue open. Don't do it. I'm going to attack you with a 6-6 Mana Gorger Hydra. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Hey, it could be more. It might be more later. Go on, Chase. <laughs> Go on. Okay. I'm gonna tap six. Foreign Clex. The sexy Clexy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. He has arrived. Now, I'm much less inclined to counter this considering CGB just slapped me for six. And now Shay could slap me for 12. <laughs> but I think Shay wants to pay Ben back. But I think if I counter it, she might want to pay me back. Ah, that's a tough call. He doesn't even have a counter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I know this behavior. <laughs> yeah, that resolves. So we've got Mana Gorger triggers. Sure do. Moving to combat. Hi. Hey, Ben. Hi. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan of the infect counters from last turn. It happens sometimes. People get sick, you know? <laughs> yeah, you missed a couple episodes. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> of infect. I'm going to send the Hydra to you, Ben. Oh, yeah. It's 12. 12 trample. I'll take 12. Yeah, with that, I'm going to pass to you, Ben. Okay, I'll untap. So I'm going to tap three and Cruel Tutor. Wait, what? Uh, search your deck for any card. Shuffle your deck and put that card on top of it. You lose two life. Oh, so three mana Vampiric Tutor. Pretty much, but it's sorcery speed. It, it worse in all the ways and still good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Esper Sentinel. Not paying. And also Mana Gorger. And Mana Gorger. Yeah, oh. yeah I was going to say. I get, oh, I get no counters. Okay, so I will not reveal this card. Put it right there. And then I'll tap three, well, four, but to, we get it. Lose two to play my commander. So Hydra Trigger. Mm -hmm. it, <laughs> mine does nothing. Yours is insane. Holy crap, Shay. 16-16? Yeah, don't worry about it. You should haven't done anything about it. Shay, if you don't attack me this turn, I won't attack you for two turns. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can you say no to that face? He's giving you the, mo the most like, cutie face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ben, you got a deal. Okay, sweet. Bro. How are you doing, Blake? I'm uh, swing no. at CGB. <laughs> oh, nice. Why <laughs> not? I'm doing better now, pal. <laughs> ben, we don't need another Blake at the table. <laughs> but I respect it. I will take two poison. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm done. All right. <laughs> I'm going to untap. Going to go ahead and Sylvan Library. All right. I am going to put one into my hand because I've got a lot of friends who want to kill me. So I will lose four. All right, I'm going to play a Baldur's Gate. 
<gasps> Isn't that like a game? It is. Oh, wow. I used to play so much with my dad. Love that game. And then I'm going to play Golos, the pilgrim who's never that tuckered out. And I am going to get a Selesnia Guildgate, which is going to untap thanks to Amulet of Vigor. Oh, look at that. And then I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to play Boseju who endures as a land because I need the green source. And I'm going to take one and I'm going to cast for two green, the Great Henge. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Mana Gorger Hydra trigger. So I'm going to tap this for two life and then we'll tap here, here, here. And I'm going to cast Bear Umbra. This is an aura and it says enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and has whenever this creature attacks, untap all lands you control. And it's a totem armor. So if you destroy the creature, I can lose the aura to do, you know, to save the creature for another turn. Did you mean to pay five for that? Uh, good point. I was paying for my own Esper Sentinel. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> it's, a real, it's a real gamer right there. Yeah, you got me there. Um, all right, so Bear Umbra is going to target Mana Gorger Hydra, and it's going to trigger Sithis Harvest Hand, so I gain one and draw a card. Also... Yes. All right, I will tap two, and I'll cast a Lightning Greaves. So some more boots over here, hmm. and if that resolves, I'm going to send it to the Mana Gorger Hydra. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to attack the mighty Shay, owner of the fiercest, largest Hydra in all the realm, <laughs> with my Mana Gorger Hydra, a mere 9-9 nine -nine trample, trigger bear Umbra to untap my lands. No blocks. Take oh. a 9. All right, 9 points. And this is really weird, but it's a way I had to do it for the bear Umbra, so I think post-combat I'm going to cast my commander. Rafik of the Many, which I have to pay one for the Horizon Canopy. So I go down to 33, and this entering the battlefield triggers Great Henge. I do not get the plus one, plus one counter. I do get to draw a card. And two more counters <laughs> over there, and I'm done. Okay. She's holding a cannon, just pointing at anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay, untap, draw. I will begin by tapping five. For Vivian Reed. Okay, uh, do you pay for Esper Sentinel? Yes. Okay. And what does that ultimate ability do? Yeah, so the ultimate is a minus eight, um, but it will come in with double counters. Uh, so you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus two, plus two, have vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Oh, hello. <laughs> very cool, very casual. All right, so you cast Vivian Reed. Trigger for Mana Gorger Hydra's on the stack. If it enters, yes. Trigger for Esper Sentinel on the stack. And priority here. Any response? No. Any response? No. I'm, God, if I do this, I'm probably going to die. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Just say that real quick. You know? Vorinclex is going to slip out the back. I'm phasing it out. Until your next turn. So this hits the stack, triggers both Mana Gorger Hydras. Yes. So your Hydra will get two counters this time because Vorinclex is in play and I will get none. So I think with Slip Out the Back on Vorinclex, because of Vorinclex itself, it doesn't actually get a count, the plus one plus one counter from Slip Out the Back. You could at me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will, but I'm fairly certain I'm right. Because it's my spell putting because it on the Because it's your spell, yeah. All right. Now... The, your Hydra still gets two counters because the Vorinclex is in play while this is targeting it. Right, and I did add those, yeah. And then if there's no responses, slip out the back, phases out Vorinclex without counters, yes. according to Blake. Mm -hmm. Then the Mana Gorger Hydra trigger from Vivian Reed is going to resolve. So you'll get one counter from Vivian Reed, and I will get one counter Whoa. on my <laughs> little Mana Gorger Hydra who's trying to catch up. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to minus three my Vivian uh, to destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. I would like to target CGB's Bear Umbra. The Bear Umbra? Yep. So, yeah, you got it. Eye for an eye, we're square. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably not. Oh, how could you say yes to that face? 
Um, I'm gonna also pay one for Findelhofen. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this little uh, mana dork cutie. Thin elves. Yes, thank you. That's gonna trigger my mana gorger hydra. But it and work. my mana gorger <laughs> hydra. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna move to combat. And CGB. I yeah. I'm swinging on you for thirty. Thirty trample. Thirty trample. Jesus, that's a lot. It's a ton. It is. It really is. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Well, with that, I will pass to you, Ben. Okay. Untap. Draw. Oh, yeah, that's right. I put that there. Yeah, the thing about Shay, of all people. Her and me. Can't wait. Oh, yeah, I'll, I will go to combat. I will swing a four at Blake in the air. No blocks? Before <laughs> blocks. Oh, I'm going to tap gonna kill me right here? one, three, four, five, taking two, and I'm going to flash in Dictate of the Twin Gods. The heck is that? If a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. A so I go to eight? If a source... A source? A source. Any source? Any so anybody's source. Anybody's source. That's why it helps Everybody Shay too, because that's damage. huge. You know, and it's actually, flash? It and it's a flash and shaman, yes. Okay. Trigger Esper Sentinel. Pay. Okay. Mana Gorger Hydras. Take eight, infect in my sleep. <laughs> but no more, please. <laughs> At the same time. Uh, then I'll pass. I'm going to Sylvan. All right, I'm going to pay four life to put this card into my hand. Okay, I'm going to pay seven, and I'm going to Golos. Yay. Oh, this is the Golos wheel. Oh, good starts. Gitrog, Tatiova, and an Izzet Guildgate. All right, so for those of you who may have not played Commander with Golos since it was banned two years ago, has it been two years? Jeez. You wow. get to play those for free now until end of turn. That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to cast Gitrog. Hydra. Yep, yep. Hydra. I'm going to cast Tatiova. Hydra. I'm going to play Is It Guildgate, which is going to untap because of Amulet and draw me a card and I'm going to gain a life. Yay. Nice. And then I'm going to play a Ketria Triome as my third land for turn because the Gitrog monster allows me to play an additional land. And that's going to untap because of Amulet, and I'm going to draw a card and gain a life. Yay! He's doing the thing where he plays a whole <laughs> bunch of lands and it takes forever and he's so happy. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to move to combat. Now this is signing a for sure death notice, but I'm going to attack Shay for three, which if you don't block is six because of dictate of the twin gods. Double gods. If it hits a creature, it is not double. I think I will not block. Okay, you're going to take six, pal. Mm -hmm. Draw. I can't stress enough that I am terrified of everybody, and <laughs> I only get one combat step, and it's really awkward right now. How's it not being controlled? I hate it. <laughs> Great Henge, go up to five. Oh, oh, yeah. Argothian Enchantress. This is a shroud, and whenever I cast an enchantment, I draw a card. Enters the battlefield, gets a plus one, plus one counter from the Great Henge, triggers the Mana Gorger Hydras. Yes. And I draw. All right, I will cast... Illuminator Virtuoso, uh, Trigger Mana Gorger Hydras. Now I need the D20. There's one left. Yep. Feels good, doesn't it? It does, <laughs> thank you, yeah. Um, enters the battlefield, plus one, plus one counter from Great Henge, draw a card. All right, I'm gonna cast Ethereal Armor, Enchanted Creature, gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control and has first strike. I'm gonna target Illuminator Virtuoso. Uh, whenever it becomes the target of a spell you control, it connives. This is also going to trigger the Hydras. And connive is draw a discard. 
I'll discard a Windswept Teeth, so no plus one, plus one counter from the Connive. Then I also have triggers from, because it's an enchantment, Harvest Hand, Gain One Life, and Argothian Enchantress. Actually, these were cast triggers, but yeah. unless you guys are gonna get on that stack, nope. get on, <laughs> interact on that stack, it's all, all sure about the same. Not. <laughs> all right, uh, green and white, I'm going to cast Sterling Grove. This is going to trigger the Sithis Harvest Hand and the Argothian Enchantress and the Mana Gorger Hydras. And this is going to give other enchantments I control Shroud. And I can sacrifice it to search for an enchantment card put on top. So I'm going to uh, draw two. Land for turn is Command Tower. Ben. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Mana Gorger Hydra is coming at you. And this is a 16-16 Make that 17-17 from Exalted Double Striker. With Trample. With Trample. That also deals double damage. That also deals double damage. <sighs> well, it looks like I the twin gods have betrayed me. <laughs> I, I, dude, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have the two poisons. It's, it's okay. I did have <laughs> the dragon that gives my dragons double strike. Next <laughs> the turn, so. don't be no, I'm dead though. <laughs> <laughs> So even if the Vorinclex came back, okay, I could still ben, do it. You'll not be forgotten. <laughs> Thank you for jumping. No, that was a good choice for sure. Yeah, but 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 please take your yes, you know yeah. your uh, thirty four. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty eight. Well, you know the, he's dead from the first uh, hit true. of double strike. <laughs> Let's go. Dude. Oh there we go. <laughs> that was gnarly. Good lord! All right, I got to move uh, to end step and discard some cards. So. Uh, I'm going to discard Spar's headquarters, and it is all you, Shay. Okay. Warren Collects returns. Shay, I want you to really consider that you're not dead right now, <laughs> <laughs> and what that might mean. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Considering, I am considering. It's okay, Shay. I still won't attack you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do first is plus Vivian. Just gonna put two loyalty on her. Look at the top four cards in my library. Reveal creature or land card from among them and put it into your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna reveal a forest, put it into my hand, and the rest of these will go random order, bottom of my library. I'm scared of the open mana, but what else is new, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is CGB in his instance. I also have open mana of that. That's what I'm saying, both yeah. of you, yeah. But also, what else is new? So, YOLO. <laughs> I'm gonna tap five for Nissa World Waker. Ooh. What's that ultimate do? The ultimate is a minus seven, although it's just gonna come in with six. Oh, I don't care about that then. <laughs> What's okay. the minus ability? <laughs> <laughs> So it has two plus one abilities, okay. and the ult is oh. the minus ability. It's a minus seven. Search your library for any number of basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. Mm -hmm. Those lands become four four elemental creatures with trample. They're still lands. Yo. Yo. So what are the abilities you can yeah. do this turn, though? Um, yeah, so the plus one is target land you control becomes a four four elemental creature with trample. It's still a land. The other plus one is untap up to four target forests. Um, so we've got some triggers on the stack, Esper Sentinel and two Mana Gorger Hydras, one of which probably won't get anything. Uh, but do you have a response with the triggers on the stack? No, sir. No? Uh, I also do not. So you get double Hydra triggers, I get none. But do you pay for Esper? No. Okay, so then we've got the triggers here. I'll go up to 18 and then she'll enter with six. All right, now I would like to tap four to play Bloom Hulk. When he enters the battlefield, proliferate. <laughs> oh no. And so not worried about that ultimate thing? That, yeah, that'll, so if that works with Vorinclex the way I think it does, mm -hmm. that will ultimate the Nissa. Yes. I mean, it doesn't even need to, but I think it puts two counters. I think so too. All right, on the stack are two Mana Gorger Hydra triggers, and Blake, do you have any response? I do. Uh, this might mean Shay attacks me, but if you do attack me, you'll most likely die to CGB next turn, so I think you might not. I will cast Counterspell on your 
Bloom dude. Mm-hmm. I believe you can't pay the one, right? Well, you gotta remind me, but yeah. Okay. It's true. <laughs> and also that'll be a Mana Gorger Hydra trigger too. Yep, that's another Mana Gorger Hydra trigger. So you have two of those going off. I have them, but they don't do anything. Yep, okay, this is countered. Sweet. So how big is that? So that's a four to three, four to three. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I am gonna plus one my Nissa, which will actually give me two counters. Go up to eight to untap four target forests. So I'm gonna untap these. I'm gonna tap five. For a Ren and seven. Wait a minute. What's the the <laughs> minus eight? I believe is like draw your graveyard, but you don't have much of one. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, it's all the bad ultimate bad. is not very good here. Um, but the minus three is creating a green um, tree folk creature token with reach, and this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. The zero is put any number of lands from your hand onto the battlefield tap, and the oh, plus yeah. one is reveal the top four cards of your library. Put the land cards revealed this way into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. That that so it, it sounds good. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, no more counters, I believe. So it comes in with double counters. There are Mana Gorger Hydra Trigger. Yep. There isn't an Esper Sentinel Trigger because it's you've already played a spell this turn. Right. Yeah, so I think my best bet here is just to create a big green tree folk and it'll be a very good honorable blocker. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to minus three, run and seven, go down to seven here and create a green tree folk. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send my Hydra to CGB. Oh. And that is a 45, 45. Any blocks? 45, 45 trample. Hmm, what blocks could I come <laughs> up with to stay alive? They'd have to be good ones. Unfortunately, I have a different plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Blake? Uh huh. Do you like mountain climbing? Sure. Because this is going to be a really big mountain. I'm going to swords to plowshares. Oh <laughs> I'm going to swords to plowshares. Oh the Mana Gorger Hydra. There it is. Which puts a trigger on the stack so you get two more counters before it resolves. <laughs> Sweet. And then I believe that's 47 life. It feels like falling on my own sword a little bit, you know? Yeah. Your own, your own plowshare. My own plowshare. <laughs> and I'm swinging at you and somehow it comes back around and I just murder myself. But somehow the sword <laughs> heals you for a lot when you fall on it. I, I mean, some people would get excited about 46 life, 47 life. <sighs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be 71 to 7, Shay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, that Hydra is oh. exiled, by the way. No coming back from the graveyard. Yep. Well, that's my turn. Okie dokie. Live your life, Blake. I'm gonna live it. All right, on my upkeep, I'm gonna sacrifice a swamp to get Drog Monster to draw a card. And then I'm going to Sylvan Library on my draw step. I'm gonna lose eight life. And then I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> I'm gonna start by just playing an island to draw a card and gain a life. All right, I'm gonna play a Breeding Pool. I'm not gonna shotgun it, but Amulet of Vigor is gonna untap it. Smooth. Ooh, and I'm gonna draw a card. Smooth. And I still have one more land drop for this turn. We're just going for it. We have to go for it. Get Golos, lend me something other than a bunch of lands. Um, uh, is that a scape shift? <laughs> That's not not a scape shift, is the main thing. Oh. I think I just oh. win. Oh. I know that card. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna try. Card. I like it. I'm going to play Rakdos Guildgate. It's going to untap. And then. Gain one draw. I'm going to gain a life and draw a card. I'm going to cast Scape Shift. Trigger S for Sentinel. Yep. Not going to pay. Are you sure? Because I do have a Force of Will in my deck. <laughs> I need all of my mana exactly. So, as a matter of fact, in res before I cast. No, in response to my own scape shift, I'm gonna float a blue. I should have done it before I can't. It's not important. Okay, um. Come on, baby. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> 
So I have one blue floating. And then I will sacrifice one, two, three, four, five, six lands, none of which are gates. Six lands go here. I'm now gonna go get six lands. All right, and then with the, the scape shift, I'm gonna put a Maze's End, Orzhov Guildgate, Gruul Guildgate, Demir, Guildgate, Boros Guildgate, Nazorius Guildgate. Amulet of Vigor is gonna untap them all. I could have paid for Esper Sentinel. That's fine. <laughs> all right, Tatiova triggers. Are you, you don't, you can just do the thing. In, in response re to the Tatiova triggers. Yeah. Cause I ain't no weakling. I'm gonna activate Maze's End. Okay. I'm gonna put Maze's End into my hand. And, what, and what's that do? Maze's End says, pay three and tap this. Return Maze's End to its owner's hand. Search your library for a gate card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. If you control 10 or more gates with different names, you win the game. How many do you have now? Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay, cool. So when I play Black Dragon, naming blue, because that's the best color in Magic, Maze's End goes in my hand and I win the game. Da -da. Wow. <laughs> the gated I, community. The gated <laughs> community. I knew Golos was banned for a good reason. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> this I is see why. It. This is why, right here. Yep. So, wow. The card I drew was Swan Song. Devastating. If I had the foresight to pay oh, a life to cast no. the swords to plowshares and had the command tower open, I would have countered it. But what Dude. would you do at seven No, life? I would have done the same thing. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh wow. wow, that was crazy. Wow. You got it, man. Oh, I love scape shift! <laughs> All right, time to pick card of the game. We'll come right back for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. And we are back for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. And today I'm going to pick out a card that is just always kind of exciting, especially when it comes out early and can deal an crazy amount of damage. And that card for me is Mana Gorger Hydra. It's not an expensive card to pick up, but I feel like every green deck should probably have one or at least consider having one. And in this particular deck, it was really fun to give it double strike. Um, I, I, did I have fun attacking? <laughs> I attacked Ben for how much? 68, uh, potentially? Yeah. That wasn't bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. It killed I, me. So. I might do it again sometime. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Shay, what is your card of the game? Well, my card of the game is Mana Gorger Hydra. Oh. Twinning. Somebody's was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, who's measuring though, right? Shay, you know, <laughs> I got to hang out next to you today. We both got to mm -hmm. watch our Hydras grow and become fully formed mm -hmm. damage dealing monsters that probably dealt like a hundred damage <laughs> overall in this game. And uh, I learned something else that we both prefer library. So, <laughs> you know, Hydra library, this yeah. side of the table. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Ben, your card of the game. Yeah. So. Even though I didn't get to activate my awesome commander, I do like the idea of this commander. I might bring him back. It's a very cool ability. But I just had the best dragon in my deck, and that was Scytherix, the Infect dragon. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, I was making the second, I'm like, you know, one Infect card, they won't be mad about that. I didn't think I'd get it in my opening hand to attack yeah. with it. To make all of us scared so, for a minute. And that lightning greaves, that was pretty clutch. So. Quick story time. I met, like Ben invited me, he met me at the market and he invited me over to like a magic kitchen table game. And it was like good wholesome kitchen table magic. Everybody was, you know, playing like their creature decks and you know, there was some Voltron and there was some elementals and landfall. And then the first time I died in one of those games, Ben killed me with Infect. Oh. <laughs> Just, and for some reason, this wholesome kitchen table gamer loves to bring the Infect. <laughs> he, <laughs> he really does. He really does. And you'd never see it coming. So if you are if you went to Magic 30, maybe you found out, because you might just sit down for a friendly game with this guy and get infected. <laughs> All right, Blake, the champion. 
All right, so honorary mention to one of my favorite cards in Magic, Scapeshift. Love this card, gets lands out of your library, and that's just great. Uh, the reason why I did not actually draw with Tatiova is I, only, I had about three or four gates left in my deck when I activated Maze's End, and I didn't want to draw them and be in an awkward spot. But the truest card of the game for me is Amulet of Vigor. Modern players know all about this card. It is an absolute house, and it did so much work this game, and I wouldn't have won that turn if it wasn't for that card. So Amulet of Vigor... Uh, how much for you. how much mana do you think Amulet of Vigor generated oh, like that game? Fifteen, yeah, maybe it, more for one mana. For one mana, absolutely yeah. absurd. You Great broke deal. the rule of gates, uh, even more than Golos as a commander breaks the rules of commander in twenty twenty two. Yeah, yeah, playing a banned commander was a little bit of an interesting feeling, but it was fun and great. Gabriel, I hope I did you proud, buddy. I'm sure that I'm sure Gabriel is absolutely thrilled. Well, that's going to do it this week for the Worst Possible Commander Show. Thank you for staying all the way till the end. That is the best thing you can do to support the channel. The next best thing is to go to CoolStuffInc.com and use the promo code WORST at checkout because that shows that you love the show and you'll get a discount. And the next best thing you can do is to support us on Patreon. As you see, we all had Covert Go Whale tier patron commanders and Ben had a patron-sponsored card in the deck. So if you would like to do something like that, if you've got a pin opinions about what commanders we play and what cards are in our decks, do something about it, put the money where the mouth is, and support the show at the same time. Thank you for watching this video on behalf of my friends, and we will see you in the next video. You're cool.